And right now we get our man, Mr. Bill Corcoran up. Bill, folks, is the CEO of BetterTrades.com. Want to welcome the TFNN. Bill Corcoran, how you doing? Doing well, sir. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. So tell us, I know you, um, you specialize in uh, equity options. You're coming into New York City, I believe, right? And you're going to be doing that a workshop fact. there? We are. We're doing a uh, two-day workshop on Thursday, Friday, and we're doing a free one-day workshop for uh, uh, folks who are trading and wanting to learn to trade options primarily on the eSignal platform. And Okay, so this is going to uh, – you, you just cut out on me, Bill. Is it, is it Wednesday and Thursday that we're doing it? That's correct. We're doing a free workshop on Wednesday, and then we're doing our uh, advanced workshop on Thursday, Friday. Okay, cool. So tell, tell us, you know, when, when someone's going to the workshop, exactly what are they going to learn? So at the workshop, we primarily are focusing on taking folks who have some experience in equity trading, uh, understand a little bit about the technical analysis, maybe some fundamental analysis, and show them how to use options to either leverage their positions uh, or to protect their positions, their long and short positions using equity options. Uh, and how to execute those trades on the e-signal platform. Nice. Now, the, you know, I know you go around the country and do this. What, what, are you, you know, what are the pluses and minuses when you, find, when you bring students into your classes? What, what do you see that you really like, and what do you see that you've know, you got to help them with quite a bit? You know, our, our biggest experience with students is that uh, you know, most of our students are retail-level traders, mom-pop uh, investors who are looking to better their lives and find ways to add additional income to their portfolio. So what we see is that people tend to get in too big a hurry. They're over leveraged to their positions. They're exposed to uh, too much risk. They're trying to take too big a piece at, at one time. And they really don't understand the dangers that can be inherent to trading options if you really don't understand time value decay, if you don't understand the role of, of implied volatility in those option trades. So what we try to do is to fill that gap, to teach people what those dangers are, what those risks are, and how to mitigate those risks and create additional income streams for, uh, for our students. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. And, is, and this is, you know, inherent folks in any type of trading business. But in the option business, what happens is that, you know, you can imagine, Bill, that if it's you or me or someone else, if you do the first couple option trades and you do really well, it's really easy to say, oh, I'm going to buy 15 contracts now instead of three because I made so much money, right? <laughs> and, and that's exactly right. Um, people get excited. They make a little bit of money. Uh, the options market is kind of funny. It's kind of like Vegas. It'll let you win just long enough for you to stay in the game to lose. Right? Yeah, and no, so there's, there's, there's no doubt. And uh, it's really important, as Bill just said, folks, okay, it's a great market, uh, but as any other trading business, it's about money management, right? Very much so. Money management, risk management. The beauty of options trading is that you can build hedges against positions that will uh, to work to, to minimize those risks. And that's really a lot of what we're, we're moving into nowadays is teaching folks how to use the options market to hedge their positions, to minimize and mitigate the risk to the extent possible, and to take the profit as it comes. Now, when we're dealing with options, of course, you know, what, hap what has happened is that the weekly options exploded. Um, and the, the aspect of weekly versus monthly options um, they're, they're, they're different than the aspect of, you know, what the decay would be, that's for sure. Um, when, you're, when you're basically teaching this out, what do you kind of like better? Is there one that you like better than the other? Well, you know, it's kind of funny because uh, on the weekly option kind of gave you four times as many opportunities to lose, right, in the same, same period of time. Yes. So it, it really did uh, create some some significant opportunities, but I think people tried to take advantage of it many times in the wrong way. One of our favorite trades is to trade very high intrinsic value options for a very low cost on expiration Friday. It's something that only happens on the expiration day. So now we had four times as many opportunities to do that. Gives me an opportunity to go in on a stock like a Google or a Priceline and buy very high intrinsic value with very little time value for an intraday move on Friday on big moving stocks. But most people don't do that. They buy the weekly option early in the week. They're subjected to just wicked time value decay throughout the week, and they don't understand why it's not working for them. So having that understanding, if you know, it's kind of like owning a chainsaw. It's great unless you don't know what you're doing. You 
cut your leg off. Right? Yeah, so, I mean, listen, man, is the white lightning, there's nothing like it, man. I, I mean, I, I grew up on white lightning on the OEX, so it's... There you go. <laughs> that's, uh, and there's no doubt, you know what's really cool? I mean, if you, if you, if you take the rice right risk parameter folks what happens on white lightning and white lightning is friday and option expiration the bottom line is that you know you can get you know whether it's the diamonds or the cues you know you're going to get something at 50 cents or 70 cents and guess what that's all you can lose i mean that that's what's it, it's a it's a really a decent deal in the context if you're really wrong wrong it's such a defined trade it's amazing yeah yeah, exactly. So, you know, we do like the uh, the monthly options for longer-term trade. Um, big fan of selling calendar spreads against those longer-term options because now with the weeklies, you have the opportunity to do that four times as often. And so we've got uh, great opportunities to hedge off risk. And these are all things that we talk about and, and, and teach in our live workshops all over the country. Um, we do uh, workshops in every city. we got a big one coming up in New York. And, uh, you know, just an opportunity to get out there and, and meet the folks teach them the power and the danger, right? I mean, every sure. power tool has dangers, and, and we'll show you how not to cut your leg off and, uh, you know, how to cut down the tree, so to speak. So, and, 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 folks, the, the site is bettertrades.com. You can, you can see the whole schedule, actually, as it's going across the country right there. Now, when you're, when you're setting option trades up, whether they're, you know, call spreads, you know, bear spreads, or just, you know, a directional trade, are you using technical analysis? How, how are you setting them up? Absolutely. Technical analysis is core to what we teach. Uh, in fact, my mentor, I, I actually came into Better Trades as a student. Believe it or not, I saw a, a TV commercial years ago about trading in the stock market. I went to one of their workshops, came in, paid my dues, and went to the classes. And, and uh, through the years, actually rose to the point of being the CEO of the company. So I understand nice. it from a perspective. And uh, one of the mentors that I've had all these years is a uh, lady by the name of Markay Latimer, who's become a very good friend of mine, one of our coaches in Better Trades, and she is, uh, I would say, one of the best at teaching technical analysis in the country. And if you don't understand the technical analysis side of it, it becomes very difficult to trade, especially in the short term. So technical analysis is one of the cornerstones to what we teach and show people how to use uh, that in, in very real terms in the options world. And what are the, uh, do most of the folks when they first start just do calls or puts? Uh, uh, do they, people get into spreads now? You know, it's, it's kind of ironic. Most people will say, I'm just going to do calls and puts because it seems more basic, right? It seems more simple. Yeah. When in reality, uh, you're much more likely to lose uh, more frequently on directional call and put plays. Now, sure. if you can manage yeah. risk and manage your emotions, that's okay. Uh, but we teach a lot of, of debit spreads now because of the reward-to-risk ratio that's associated with those. Right. And been teaching a lot of directional butterflies, believe it or not, using option pinning as a, an indicator for picking the short strike on the, on the butterfly. And we're generating massive rates of return in our practice trades on those where we may have 15 or 30 cents at risk and pick up $4.85 of, of profit at the end of the week. Now, what have you seen, you know, it, it's really intriguing because the market has been a one-way market for a good four years, right? So, it, 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 do most of the folks come in and just buy? You know, you would think that they would, and that worked in the 90s, uh, late 90s so well that you'd think more people would get it. But it's amazing when people want to come in and they want to pick work at tops, isn't it? And, and so they oh, want yeah, to Oh, yeah, I'm one of those crazy people I know, believe me. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> exactly. So, and, it, and it's interesting when people will do that. Um, what we find is, of course, by buying and holding uh, longer-dated options, uh, call options, specifically and call spreads, that sure. people can do a little bit better. Right. Uh, one of the best performing strategies uh, in the daily morning lab that I teach every single day is in the synthetic long, where we just have been going in and creating uh, the synthetic equivalent to owning the stock and just holding that position and selling calls against it, and it's just been phenomenal in this market. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, listen, man, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, folks, you can go to bettertrades.com. He's going to be in uh, the well. The, is it going to be in New York, Tampa, Baltimore, Houston, San Diego? Uh, just check it out. Hey, Bill, thank you so much. You have a great one, safe one. I'm sure you're going to have a great workshop in New York. I appreciate it, Tom. You take care of yourself. I appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one.